morning, brothers and sisters. Today, we commemorate the memorial of St. Cecilia. For Mass intentions for the fast recovery of Alda Oraya. And we thank the Lord for the gift of life given to Clement Gaitos and Brian Alexis Gayon and Lovell Angeli Lacaba. Our Mass sponsors for today are Daniel Sebrero and Ravian Achazo. Please all stand to sing the entrance hymn. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Sisters and brothers, let us acknowledge our sins. And so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who gladden us each year with the feast day of your handmaid, Saint Cecilia, grant we pray that what has been devoutly handed down concerning her May offer us examples to imitate and proclaim the wonders worked in his servants by Christ your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the beginning of the book of the prophet Daniel. In the third day, year of the reign of Jehoiakim, king of Judah, king of Nebuchadnezzar of Babylon, came and laid siege to Jerusalem. The Lord handed over him to Jehoiakim, king of Judah, and some of the vessels of the temple of God. He carried them off to the land of Shinar. Please. And 
place the vessels in the temple. And place the vessels in the temple treasury of his God. The king told Azaphenaz, his chief chamberlain, to bring in some of the children of Israel of royal blood and of the nobility young men without any defect, handsome, intelligent, and wise, quick to learn, and prudent in ju judgment, such as could take their place, place in the king's plate palace. They were to be taught in language and literatures of the Chaldeans. After three years training, they were to enter the king's service. The king allotted them a daily portion of food and wine from the royal table. Among this were men of Judah, Daniel, Hania, Michelle, and Azariah. But Daniel was resolved not to defile himself with the king's food of wine or wine. So he begged the chief chamberlain to spare him this defilement Though God had given Daniel the fever and sympathy of the chief, chief chamberlain, he nevertheless said to Daniel, I am afraid of my lord the king. It is he who allotted your food and drink. If he sees that you look wrench by comparison with the other young men of your age, you will endanger my life with the king. Then Daniel said to the steward, whom the chief chamberlain had put in charge of Daniel, Hania, Michelle, and Nazaria. Bless. This, this test your servants for ten days. Give us vegetables to eat and water to drink. Then see how we look in comparison with the other young men who eat from the royal table and treat your servants according to what you see. He ascended to this request and tested them for 10 days. After 10 days, they look healthier and better fed than any of the young men who eat from the royal table. So the steward continued to take away the food and wine they were to receive and gave them vegetables. To these four young men, God, who give knowledge and proficiency in all literature and science. And to Daniel, the understanding of all visions and dreams at the end of the time the king had specified for their preparation. The chief chamberlain brought them before when the king had spoken with all of them. None was found equal to Daniel, Hania, Michelle, and Azariah. And so they entered the king's service. In any question of wisdom or prudence, which the king put to, he, to them. He found them ten times better than all the magicians and enchanters in his kingdom. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Response or some response. Glory and praise forever. Glory and praise forever. Blessed are you, O Lord, the God of our fathers, praiseworthy and exalted above all forever. And blessed is your holy and glorious name, praiseworthy and exalted above of, of all ages. Response. Glory and praise forever. Blessed are you in the temple of your holy glory. Praiseworthy and glorious above all forever. Response. Glory and praise forever. Blessed are you in the throne of your kingdom. Praiseworthy and exalted above all forever. Response. Glory and praise forever. Blessed are you who look into the, into the depths from your throne upon the cherubim. 
praiseworthy and exalted above all forever. Glory and praise forever. Blessed are you in the firmament of heaven. Praiseworthy and glorious forever. Response. Glory and praise forever. Please stand to honor the Holy Gospel. from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. When uh, Jesus looked up, and he saw some wealthy people putting their offerings into the treasury, and he noticed a poor widow putting in two small coins. He said, I tell you truly, this poor widow put in a more than all the rest. For those others have all made offerings from their surplus wealth. But she from her poverty has offered her whole livelihood. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. We reflect today the importance of offering uh, oneself to God, uh, offering our whole life to God. So yesterday, we witnessed uh, two of our brother seminarians who offered their lives to God when they received their uh, sacred uh, cassocks. And today, is the ordination of uh, Reverend Lex Jeram. Uh, and uh, he will be offering again his uh, life uh, to God. Is he, as a manifestation of his offering, he will prostrate at the altar. Madupahiya and uh, uh, that is a symbol of uh, wholehearted offering uh, to God. We go offer niya will, heart, tiya strength, nga tanan, nga to hiton ginoo. And then the people will be praying the litany of the saints to ask for intercession, to ask for the grace that. Uh, uh, he needs. We remember also the offering of Abel and Cain. Do you know the story of Abel and Cain during uh, the time of the Old Testament? Hinoin Hera. They were the sons of uh, Adam and Eve. He Cain, he Abel. He Cain in Usanga farmer, while Abel was a uh, sh uh, sh shepherd. Oh. How do you call this? Paragwanit <laughs> Carnero. Uh, shepherd, yes. A shepherd. And then, ang ginbuhat ni Cain in nagkuhayan fruits, gin-offer nga tuhan ginoo. While he abel, in gin-offer niya pinaka the best. First born nga, nga ship. Kingan iya gin offer. And then, hinuan gin karawat han offering. Ang kan abel. Why? Kay pinaka the best man na gin offer. Pinaka the best. While he kain na gin offer nga fruits in pagtuman la. 
very wholehearted nga nga offering. Ah, basta maka-offer la Okay? And our gospel for today about uh, uh, the two persons who offered to God. Uh, the other one was a rich man and the other one was a poor widow. Poor and widow pahiya. Anawem. Okay? Ngan uh, binuhat niya, gin-offer pa niya and supposedly para haiya nakunta for uh, pirat ka weeks nga para sustenance niya or sa kabulan. Iya pa gin-offer nga tuhan gino. Sign of uh, trust and confidence to the Lord. Katanan Lord, ino offer ko. Yan eh. Ano sa naman ang Rico? Surplus. Ha? Yan nila. Oh. Parang uh, wara alit haira kay surplus la. So, hinon gin appreciate han gino. Oh. And poor widow. And poor widow. Karagsingan, we have to offer our best to God. Our will. Our strength. Our mind, our weaknesses, everything, we have to offer it to God for the greater glory. Please stand. While some wealthy people put in large sums into the temple treasury, the poor widow contributed to small coins, which was all she had. She is an example of one who loves God with all her being. Let us pray to the Lord that we may follow her generosity. For every petition we say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. May our surplus simply the needs of our brothers and sisters so that their surplus may also supply our needs, that they may be equality among God's people, we pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. May we share our time, talents, and other gifts without sadness or compulsion. compulsion. For God loves a cheerful giver, we pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. May there be no rich among us who feel they, not, they do not need anything, or poor who feel that they cannot contribute anything, we pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. May we devote ourselves to living generously and allow God's gift granted in prayer, to be shown in our concern for our brothers and sisters, we pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. May we, like Jesus, cherish the little de details of love, like noticing the widow who offered her two small coins, or the little boy who offered his loaves and fish, we pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Father, Jesus our Lord became poor, although he was rich, so that by his poverty we might become rich. Help us to be rich in the things that concern your kingdom, so that we may store up treasures in heaven. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen.
honor you, Lord God of all creation, for the goodness we have received, the bread we offer you for the earth work with human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through goodness we have received the wine we offer you through the divine work of human hands that will become our spiritual drink. that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. The Lord, accept the sacrifice in your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. May the offerings we bring in celebration of Blessed Cecilia win your gracious acceptance. O Lord, we pray, just as the struggle of her suffering and passion was pleasing to you through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For the blood of your blessed martyr, Cecilia, poured out like Christ to glorify your name, shows forth your marvelous works by which in our weakness you perfect your power and on a fable bestow strength to bear your witness through Christ our Lord. And so with the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth and before your majesty, Without end, we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one with the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope and Crispin our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of their resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face 
Have mercy on us, all we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be cohorts to eternal life. And we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. And the Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give, give us, us this day our daily bread, bread and forgive us, us our trespasses, trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead, and lead us, us not, not into temptation, temptation but, deliver but deliver us from, from evil. evil. Amen. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that with the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and saved from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, as the apostles, peace, I leave you my peace, I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. We live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer one another the sign of peace. Peace be with peace you. Peace be with you. Peace. peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you shall enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
pray. O God, who bestowed on blessed Cecilia a crown among saints, for her twofold triumph of virginity and martyrdom, grant we pray through the power of this sacrament that bravely overcoming every evil, we may attain the glory of heaven through Christ our Lord. Amen. So after uh, this, I will be uh, uh, giving a short uh, conference. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May the Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Let us go in peace. Thanks be to God.